Hello friends, I am Chevy. Welcome to my shed. How are you doing today? How's life in your world? How's things where you are? I hope it's all great and fantastic. I got a package today from Amazon. It was presents. Uh, I got some gift cards for my birthday and I decided to spend them on some tools uh, that we've been talking about on the channel. So thank you to everyone who sent me gift cards. I really appreciate you. Um, and I've already done an unboxing and I attempted to do a review while I did that, but it was so bad that this is maybe the fifth time in the Daily Shit history that I'm just recording a whole new take. It was that bad. So there is no unboxing because the box has already been unboxed. But what I ended up buying is not the cheapest palm router on Amazon, but it's close. There's a bunch of them in the sub $50 range. They all look basically identical with different colored tops. I just picked the one that seemed to have the most sales and the most reviews that I could read through to try to get a feel for what I was buying. Um, it came in a no brand package with a no brand book and the router itself has no branding on it whatsoever. So I believe it's called a Koizel. I don't remember exactly, but I will put links to this in the description if you're interested in hearing about it. This is a, uh, it claims to be 800 watts. I feel like that's probably true. I do not have a meter here, so I can't measure it. 30,000 RPMs, sounds about correct. It is an aluminum bodied palm router. Um, again, there's dozens of these things on Amazon. They all just seem to have different colored tops. This feels like some sort of ABS plastic, it might even have some glass in it, but it's really rigid, not like a softer feeling tool plastic that you would expect from one of the name brands. The machining on this, um, the machining on the body is pretty rough, but I think that actually works out to our advantage because the base that comes with this is essentially just a piece of plastic with a bolt through it to, cl to clamp on it, like a Oh, is that called like a clamshell? I don't know what it's called. But anyway, it just clamps on it. And I think that extra ridginess, ridginess, yeah, of the body gives this a little firmer grip. I wouldn't want to crank down too much on this because it is just a kind of thin piece of plastic with a nut in it. But it seems to hold just fine. I read a bunch of reviews where people were saying that this slips and whatever. I feel like, yes, it definitely could. You could probably shove on this thing and really mess it up. But that's not the way to use this tool anyway and if you're disrespecting it that way then what's the point of buying um, the cheap tool just buy a more expensive one that you can break and be sad about <laughs> i don't know why i'm saying all of this um i might depending on how this works out if i do have issues i might put a piece of like athletic tape inside this little base um but that's to be determined it is it feels like it's loose enough that you could fit a piece of tape in there to act as an extra little bit of uh, grip. The other problem that I saw a lot of reviews covering is that it doesn't hold bits very well. The collet in here is super duper tiny, and if you compare it to the collet from a name brand palm router, you can see that it just, you know, it's only gripping a very small portion of the shank of the bit. So I, you know, there might be some validity behind those behind those uh, reviews on Amazon, but until I've actually played with this, I can't speak to that. I can just show you that it's, you know, significantly smaller. The thing came with a bag of toys that I haven't even attempted to go through yet. The two collet wrenches are like the most weak <laughs> stamped steel you've ever seen. These are not gonna ever be used. They're just kind of garbage. And it came with an edge guide that I haven't even attempted to figure out how to put together. And it came with a little quarter inch shank, a two flute quarter inch cutter. So for the money, I think it was 47 or $48. I feel like it's at this point, this current juncture, I feel like it's a pretty good deal. Let's plug it in so you can hear it. Hopefully, hopefully this comes across fairly well on camera, but this is really quiet. super duper quiet. I'm actually really impressed by that. And hopefully that's not a bad thing, right? My, you know, just my little, um, 
battery powered router is significantly louder. And of course, once I chuck a bit in it and start cutting it, you know, earmuffs are required, but I'm really impressed at how quiet it is. It does smell, right? I mean, I can smell the ozone right now. I can smell the brushes. I can sell, there's a little bit of lubricant in there that's burning off. It does come with a second set of brushes. And I have read that these will get really, really hot when being, when using. So I will have to try it and report back. I'm not gonna try it tonight. But I'm gonna use it for a while and then I'll report back and let you know what I think. The other thing that I got though, I'm actually more excited about, and that is a variable speed controller. This box says it's a fan speed controller built to last. The side of it says it's a router speed control. I found a ton of these on Amazon also. I picked this one because I think it was the one that Amazon re requested, or not requested, recommended the most. And I thought I'd give it a shot. The reason I'm excited about it is because all of these, again, just like the router on Amazon, these all look identical. And they all sit, have three speeds, low, medium, and high. But this is actually a potentiometer. So there's this is just a dimmer, almost the exact same thing as a dimmer in your wall. And it works pretty okay. Um, it's not going to dramatically slow this thing down. I don't have an RPM gauge, so I can't tell you, you know, where we're at. But that's on low. And then I can... I mean, just listening to the pitch, I feel like it's probably 30%-ish. So, you know, take this 30,000 RPM router down to 20,000, that's great. The real reason I'm excited about it, though, is because I've really purchased this for my Sears, uh, my Craftsman router table. And it has the old, like, magnesium body Craftsman router that does not have a speed control. And when you're working with some router bits and some ways on a router table you really need to be able to turn the thing down and hopefully i can keep from burning things um you know especially like using the trim bit on on hard maple it'll burn so hopefully i can turn this down a little bit and uh, avoid that all in all i'm pretty excited about the purchase i feel like you know for my dream we've talked about i would love to have three or four of these i would love to have them set up permanently with two different size roundovers with maybe even a chamfering bit and a straight cutting patterning bit um, for doing tasks that I do all of the time just to be able to go zip, 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 done. We'll see. We'll see how it works out. Currently, you know, I don't use my shop daily. I'm, this isn't a production facility. I'm not cracking out furniture so fast I can't keep it in stock. I think for somebody like me who's doing this on a paying hobby level where I'm going to be using this tool weekly you know sometimes for lengths of time you know where I've got to chamfer a whole bunch of things or round over a whole bunch of things I think it's going to work out but time will tell and we'll come back to it right out of the box it's exactly what I expected it has that same cheapish feeling it's pretty weighty and the aluminum case is you know pretty decent this base is actually I have no complaints. It seems to be what I expected it to be. It actually seems to be a little nicer. I expected it to be rougher around the edges, have, you know, harsher mold lines and that sort of stuff. This edge guide, yeah, it'll never go on. I don't care. But I think it's going to work out. Uh, again, we'll come back and try it in the future, and we'll see how it turned out. But if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I will leave links to both the speed controller and this router in case you want to pick one of them up for yourself. With that said, thanks for being here as always. Thank you for liking and commenting, subscribing, being amazing friends and wonderful people. I really appreciate you. And I'll see you again tomorrow. Today's word you should know to sound smart is Epicurean. It is a noun meaning devoted to the enjoyment of good food and comfort. Mother's Thanksgiving meal at the Cape Cod compound was an annual Epicurean delight. Epicurean, E-P-I-C-U-R-E-A-N. I have, I did not, I've never heard that. I've always thought of like, you know, I know what a foodie is, but I didn't know there was like food and comfort tied together in one word. <laughs>